Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So, I've been gone for a little while because I've had a uh, problem with my teeth, um, or a tooth, and I've been in a lot of pain, so obviously wasn't, um, you know, going to be up for recording anything or doing any anything but the pain stops right now, so, um, yeah, I can, you know, get it. But, just want to quickly do an update video on the, like, um, essentials add-on. Because there have been a few updates and uh, I just want to quickly talk about them in a bit more detail than just a YouTube comment just like, oh, they added this and that, so, and I want to show off what they've changed. So, according to the, their change log, uh, their tree capitating now works on bigger trees, so, yeah, it does work. Um, now, I do have the random tick speed set to 100, so let's just set that back to 1, so... Um, yeah, it doesn't attack, uh, make the de leaves decay any faster so far, I know. Let's try a big 2x2 two two tree now, see how, if it can handle them. But even if it doesn't, it's still an improvement at least, so just bash that. Okay! Yeah! Also, with the, uh, we plant saplings if you have saplings in your inventory, which is uh, good. So yeah, tree captator is now the tree captator for this is now legitimately good. I can say that at least. Um, and obviously, you can turn turn it on and off in your setting in the settings in the book. So yeah, the tree captator. I am happy to say now that now they've updated it, the tree captator. For this add-on is legitimately good. But there are a couple of other things I want to talk about. So let's just go home. So they, oh yeah. So they've now made it so that you can rename your teleports, which is useful. So you don't have to memorize which each one is. They've added player teleporter. So basically I can't show this off because there's nobody online. Maybe, um... Maybe I could get somebody in, but I don't know. I don't want to just like sending out ran, uh, random like invites to everybody. Uh, just so they can help me with this. Uh, good thing I got a sword. Um, I mean, I do think you still have to use a vanilla axe for the tree capitation to work. Let me just... Uh, quickly try it with the Omni tool. Nope, it does not work with the Omni tool. But you do have to use a vanilla axe for it. Which um, is one small downside, to, to be fair. Because the, uh, the tree capitator uh, from the... Uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but the one that the Omni, the add-on that the Omni tool is from, it also has a tree captator, and that does work with non-vanilla uh, axes. But the pick, uh, the vein miner doesn't work with non-vanilla pickaxes. So yeah, mind you, they've not said anything about. Um, they've not said like uh, the vein miner now. It doesn't, they've not said anything about the vein miner now having fortune effects, which, so I still wouldn't recommend using the vein miner. But the tree captator, yeah, that's genuinely good, and I and I could definitely recommend using the tree captator now. Because it is, uh, you know, except for the not being able to use add on that axes, is legitimately, uh, you know, just as good as any other, as the other add on, pretty much. Um, all the changes that they've made is, um, there's some good ones and there's some, uh, there's some bad ones. So, they've added uh, the Neverite. Hold on. They've added there, uh, like, the Ore Finder. Or Scanner. Or, yeah, Ore Scanner for Ancient Debris, sorry. Not Neverite. But it's a ore scanner for diamond emeralds, so that's 
three, four, five, six diamonds, two echo shards, uh, uh, and eye of Enders are difficult to get, but they're, uh, yeah, it's a bit expensive, but then you need that, plus four netherite scraps, two gas tiers, which are a pain in the butt to get. Magma, magma crate's never been difficult for me, because for some reason, every time I make a nether puzzle, it's always in the, the, uh, Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but you know, that, that shitty biome where all the magma cubes spawn. Uh, and it is just so expensive, and again, they're not very useful, so I, could, I cannot recommend making that, like, whatsoever. Uh, uh, what else has been changed? I don't think anything else. Oh, yeah, they've added more fake blocks. So, uh, I've, so they've said they've added more fake blocks, they didn't say which fake block, fake. Here we go, so we, you've got like dirt, stone bricks, smooth stone, spruce wood, jungle, crimson stone, plank stone, uh, deep slate bricks, oak planks, spruce planks, cobblestone bricks, warp planks, granite, uh, Polished diamond. I actually went with texture pack, texture packs, which is cool. Uh, deep slate, polished deep slate, polished blackstone, polished andesite, wood, mangrove wood. But yeah, anyway, I'm not going to go through all these. Uh, but yeah, more well, that, that does make that feature better. I'm still not exactly sure, uh, except for like trapping your, messing with your friends, it's not really super uh, good. Um, we, you know, talk, uh, talk to the player, the player teleporter, they're ba basically you send a teleport request to a player, and they just need to hop, uh, sneak her for three seconds to accept. There's the incinerator. Uh, in sin. It's just four iron, four buttons, and a lava bucket, which is fine, I guess. Not too expensive. Um, it basically removes all cobblestone, dirt, gravel, tough, cobble, deep slate, neverack, and sand from your inventory. I get cobblestone, cobble, deep slate, and neverack because they are all super common. I don't, uh, oh, and I guess dirt. I don't get, uh, well, I, yeah, I don't get gravel and sand because they're used to make concrete powder, which is, and concrete's a very, um, you know, widely used building block, so I, d I don't really get why that's not, why those two are on there. Tough, yeah, I kind of get that because it is fairly common and, you, uh, you know, but it is getting more useless, so I don't know if you'd use it. So yeah, be careful if you have like sand and gravel and that you want to, when you're using it because it'll delete them, but yeah, I can see why that's useful if you're doing a lot mining and you want to just get rid of the uh, cobble deep sea or whatever. They've added chunk borders, you basically um, turn that on in the settings, so we go to the settings, We've got chunk border, and you can see the chunk border of the chunk that you are in. This can be useful for making farms, it is a little bit I don't know if that's supposed to be flashing or if it's a glitch. It, uh, it's kind of more annoying when it's flashing if it would just be solid. Um, but yeah, that's a that that, is, that can be useful. So that is a good add-on. Uh, where's the chunk order? Uh, they've added the uh, breakable spawner. So you need diamond or neverite pickaxes. And if you break a your spawner, you're supposed to get it. Now, my zombie spawner is still over there because I had to raise up the world. So, or not, was it? No, it's over here. So let's go, uh, let me go get that, test this out on that zombie spawner. It is activated as you saw in the settings a moment ago. No, no, not. Oh, yeah, it is here. Yeah. So, zombie spawner, break with never right pickaxe. And we have a sp mob spawner plus data, so yeah. Uh, and this actually, um, 
World Utilities, yeah, that's the, I think that's what the add-on's called, that has the Omni tool. Now, that that add-on also has the wrench, which you craft, uh, to be able to pick up monster spawners, and for that, it, you need to have, you have to tell it what spawner type it is. But, yeah, and it, and it retains the spawner type, so yeah, this is, oh. Oh, no, I still have it. I thought it broke for a second when I got the XP. Yeah, so I was like, oh, is it on like a cooldown or something? So, yeah, that's cool. Like being able to move monster spawn is, a de is definitely a good uh, addition to the game. And it works fine. Uh, but they've not they've not updated death ray points to be like to save your stuff from lab, which uh, so, which so I can't really uh, recommend it for to. Recommend the death waypoints, points. Just get the free gravestone add-on and use that instead. Um, and yeah, oh yeah, they also added elevators, which is four ender pills and a scaffolding. Ellie. Yeah, so I'm just gonna give myself some elevators. So yeah, they do stack up to us. They do go up to one stack. So let's just uh, break this. Put the elevator there. I can get rid of. Oh, they can be waterlogged. Apparently. Oh, all that water is just very buggy. Oh, wait, no, that's a slab. I think uh, wasn't a slab. Was it? I don't know. Doesn't matter. And then you come up here. They can have them there. So you shift to go down, jump to go up. There is a bit of a cooldown. When you're going up, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, my only complaint is that there is no sound to it. They could have added a whoosh sound; that would be cool. But yeah, elevator blocks—they're useful. Crafting recipes not too expensive. It's only four ender pills and the scaffolding. I guess like scaffold, the scaffolding is the most annoying part because you do need to go to a uh, jung bamboo jungle for that, and they're kind of rare, so that can be a bit annoying. But yeah, they're pretty decent. Now, can I... Now, here's the thing. Does my review of this change much? Can I recommend this? Honestly, with the things that I have added on and the changes to the tree capitator, I can recommend this now, but it's not a strong recommendation. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. It has some cool features. It's not... Uh, not doesn't really add anything too great game-breaking, but some of the features I would recommend turning are that off or just complete use or completely use useless or just too expensive like just turn all turn all breaker off turn death ray points off and uh, if you want uh vein miner or gravestones there's two other add-ons that have them so you could add them on at one of them three so add them on and just use them instead uh the captain is pretty good is legitimately good now uh property planting is good uh, checkpoints, yeah, they're fine. It's fine. You get, you know, it's a little bit, I think they were, they were a bit expensive. But they are, uh, check. Yeah, they are a bit expensive. Well, very expensive, but just have online. I like, I wouldn't really recommend using that. I just recommend making the uni, making the universal remote. Oh, they've changed this recipe. Now you need a never star. I'm pretty sure that you didn't need a never star for that before. So they have nerfed the universal remote by making it more expensive. Oh, no, not too bad. Um, but I'd still recommend you making the universal remote over it because um, it just has way way more features and it's and the echo shark, and then you don't have to go to the. I'd rather 
Kill the wither, then go and get more like your shards. He's not even get guaranteed to get any shit. Um, sideways slabs. I, yeah, I'm not much of a builder. If you like, if you like building, you need know, sideways slabs. Yeah, that, that's kind of cool. Portable blocks. Um, nothing's changed about my review of them. The crafting table one is fine, and the ender chest one is legitimately good because then you don't need to carry a uh, silk touch pick around with you all the time to pick that one up, pick it up. Um, and it's also an infinite source of obsidian. All scanners are, are pretty much useless, like, I would not recommend crafting them at all. Mining helmets, a uh, bit too expensive, like, if it's you, if it you, right, so if I go into here, mine, the mining help. If that glowstone was a torch and they added like a glass pane there, then I could recommend that to, for like early game, but no. Shouldn't be a glowstone block, should be a torch. Um, and the repair is cool, it does save you on iron. Save you on iron. works again. If you're me go for messing with your friends, but. Uh, uh, Universal remote. Yeah, that's pretty odd. A bit expensive, but uh, it does have a lot of useful features. Like, uh, um, time of day, teleporter, player teleporters. So it's basically multiple of the other items. One. Uh, I don't. Let me check if the weather works. Or, uh, no, because last time I tried it, it didn't work. So weather. Let's say it to rain. Oh yeah, it works now. Weather clear. Yeah, works now. So they fixed that bug with the weather thing, weather setting not working. Uh, breakable spawn, this is cool. It's not too OP because you need a diamond pickaxe at least to, to uh, um, pick one up. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, and there's nothing I'm forgetting about. Yeah, so far is good for um building farms. Yeah, so it's a, it, it. There are some cool things in it, but um, there there are just some features that just aren't worth using. Um. But I do, I do have to commend the devs for constantly updating this because I ha I do keep an eye on like all the add-ons I've reviewed and what updates come to them, and I try to keep you noted in the uh, comment section with a pinned comment. Uh, so I have been keeping you know tabs on like all the add-ons I've reviewed and what's being updated, what's the changing, and I try to like give a de as detailed a of a change log in the description as I can, but. Uh, in the comments as okay. uh, and And uh, I felt like they've added enough to this for me to make a quick update videos. Uh, so yeah. My review goes from re not recommended at all to yeah I can kind of recommend this. Recommend this but um, it it did take a while for it. Well not a while. Well but it did need a bit of work for it to be for me to be able to recommend it. Um, for, for, and for me, you know, for this to be a strong recommendation from me, all they really have to do is change it so that the ore breaker can apply the fortune effect, even if you need a fortune pickaxe or um, you know, and there just needs to be a way to make the ore breaker apply fortune or have like an item in your inventory. Um, that you craft with like a, some diamonds and stuff, um, you know, for it to, to uh, apply fortune. Like then, uh, then uh, that that would that would help. And the and the Jimmy, the death ray points need they just need to save your items from lava. Like I don't know why they don't why they can't do that. And the and the uh, while the gravestone add-on can. Maybe they just need to like go to the gravestone add on people. It's like, hey, how did you manage to get your gravestones to save the items from lava? And you know, and then did I apply that to this or something? Uh, it's in the way to is all oh, right. Like I said, it, it, I can see use cases for it. Um, and the ore scanners. Now, 
they're not inherently a bad uh, feature. But they are just too expensive. Like, two Echo Shards. Uh, each of them uses two Echo Shards. So I would change up these crafting recipes. So, the all the first all scanner, well, the all, you know, all, each one of these have three uh, all they scan for, except for the this one, which is just Asian debris. So I would change it up so that so that this one would use like uh, I so this is like uh, uh, coal, copper, and redstone. So it would have you that you need one coal, one copper, one redstone there, a bunch of iron, and the uh, sure an eye of ender in the center or something. Or maybe just an end pill or something, uh, and then I would do it. And say, and you know, same for this. You get have iron gold quartz surrounded by by iron ingots and uh, like here uh, and like an iron bend or an ender pill or something there in the center there. Uh, same for this diamond the uh, uh, diamond the emerald and the lapis iron up up around the bottom with the ender pill iron bend there. And for this, just have an Asian Debris, Iron, and Eye of Ender. Because these are just way too expensive for, for what they do. And also increase their range. Maybe? I don't know, it's a bit tired because it's kind of like... You don't, you want it to be a lot... Like... Why... My main complaint with them is like, why would I uh, go through all the effort of crafting them? When I could just... Uh, do this and see that in this three by three area there's none of them when they when the ore scanners only cover a two by two area if I remember correctly. So I feel up to set up to a seven blocks difference. So distance. So yeah, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's literally you're literally just ex that's literally just like one block further than I can reach. And it's and it is a and it's uh, scanning less blocks than uh, um, what, what I can do because literally, let me just double check. Oh, I can't, there's supposed to be an effect. So yeah, it's literally a two by two. Pretty sure. It's a bit hard to tell. So that needs to be at least a three by three area. Go and it's only going like one block further than your fist, and it costs a lot of resources to craft. When I can just like basically do the same thing with just mining a little bit out in the direction. In that direction, so it needs to be have a longer reach. Like maybe have it go ten blocks out, because then it's a bit further than your fist. And uh, it's a bit quicker, and it, and then I, the, and with the crafting recipe uh, being uh, cheaper, I then I can kind of recommend them uh, for use. But even though it be, it's a hard, it would be a hard sell in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's the that's a quick update to to this add-on. Uh, any future updates will be uh, down in the comment section uh, below. And yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one. And bye-bye.